Hello, darlings. Happy New Year to everybody out there. 2021 is upon us. Let's hope it's better than last year, shall we say. Thank you so much for allowing me some time off or just letting me have some time off over Christmas and New Year to recharge my batteries. It's been a long year. It's been a long year of creating and I just needed to stop, take it slow gather all my energy back up again and I am back. I am ready. We are here. It's going to be amazing. It really is. Today it's going to be another Design Me Devon. We have, I've got a few more videos coming up this week. I've got a whiteboard now. I'm reading off me whiteboard loves. Strangerville's save files coming this week. Let's build the world. We're in a new world by the way with that one there. And I've got a rather special speed bill coming on Friday as well. And I'm streaming tonight as well at 7pm GMT. I'm going to be building the bungalow from Keeping Up Appearances. If you guys remember that, it's an old kind of late 80s, early 90s English sitcom um, with Hyacinth Bouquet, Lady of the House speaking. I really want to try and build their cottage. Or what was it? it's, it's a bungalow, their little bungalow. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So if you want to come along, see me live say hello then you know where i am um yeah without further ado what i'm gonna do we're gonna flop on over and i'll show you the house that we've picked out today to renovate okay my loves here we are and may i say i do have a green screen now i've got a new green screen so i'm gonna be testing it out don't worry you're still gonna be seeing the background and stuff as it evolves and whatnot because i've got a few ideas on what i'm gonna do for it this year but it just makes sense for stuff like this to have a green screen and I've got one now so stunning. Anyway here we are. We are at the train tracks. I I did a kind of train inspired build last time with the cafe, the kind of train station cafe but this is a house. This is a house and it's done by White Symphandel. So thank you so much my lovely. I absolutely love the look of this. Uh, I had a little nose on the inside as well, and I'm very much for it. Very much for it. So, the the, <clears throat> the story is as follows. Jenny's grandfather went a little crazy in his later years. It wasn't until Jenny inherited his house when he sadly passed away that she realized how bad his hoarding was. I don't know why I'm reading it like this, but I'm going with it. Can Jenny make this a home for her and her partner, Michelle? And their two Labradors, Ben and Jerry. They have 25,000 simoleons to spend. Desperately want a modern kitchen extension. An outside entertainment area and an office for Michelle. To write about the goings on in Strangerville. <laughs> Happy Virgo cleaning. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I've just seen I've just seen that hashtag. Made me laugh. Made me chuckle. Um, yeah, I love this. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous build. Really, really is. Um, I've got some ideas already, but let's have a closer looking game, shall we? And here she is. Here is the train tracks. We're, oh, right, okay. The train tracks are back here. Well, I don't think we're going to keep them because it doesn't kind of make sense for me. Where I've put it, I've put it in the world of... Evergreen Harbour. That took me long enough, but we're here. We're here. Look at all this detail. Look at all this detail. I'm absolutely for it. What's throwing me off is the fact that it looks like quite a modern build. Uh, modern-ish. Or I'm just getting a modern vibe from it. It could be traditional. I, f I will forget that. We'll forget I was saying that. But this is cute. Oh, is the chair floating? I don't think that was meant to be floating like that. We'll pop you down there. It's got like a little pond area at the back as well. So it needs a modern kitchen extension on it. Look at all of this detail. This must have took you ages to do this. And um, we'll go downstairs first. So you kind of got this little like entrance bit here with a hallway. Quite a substantial size hallway as well. Now I did see there was a basement, but where's the entrance to the base? Is that it under there? Oh, it is look. So it's almost got like a little doomsday shelter underneath of it. I'm not sure we'll keep the doomsday shelter or I could maybe still have some space um, or a room like underneath or something for the office. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do this yet. I have no idea. But um, quite a small living room. God, the detail that you've put in here. 
all of these like little tiny objects as well these little notes and my lord this must have took you ages it's so well done such a well done build but yeah this this old man was a hoarder so he was hoarding all of this stuff all of this rubbish very into his conspiracy theories and whatnot i would say and i'm for that i really am okay it's got quite a nice substantial size actually because it doesn't come all the way up to the back here either so we need to do some outdoor entertaining space i'm gonna give it a go and then upstairs two bedrooms i'll keep it two bedrooms as well in fact i pretty much love the layout of it upstairs it's it's quite nice it's quite nice what we're gonna do is maybe it just extend out here make the living room a bit bigger maybe <clears throat> yeah i think so make the living room a bit bigger um and do some entertainment space out here maybe go down into the basement with the entertainment space and also i could put the office down there as well or i could make this into the office um no because they've got two labradors i'm gonna do i'm gonna make this into like almost like a little dog area with their beds and their feeding stuff in there maybe yeah we'll do that we'll do that i love the shape of the build i'm not going to change the shape of it at all i think the shape of it is perfect however i think what i'm going to do is modernize it have some modern windows some solar panels so it's a bit eco-friendly as well yeah we're going to do that i'm for it so let's crack on and i'll join you in the speed build portion well here we are my darlings here we are getting rid of everything clearing everything up there was so i i think i i can't even imagine how long this took you to clutter this place because fuck me sideways with a badminton racket honestly i it took me ages it took me ages just to do the cleanup and this is predominantly what this is but i really enjoy how the build came out in the end i really really did enjoy it yes that's right <laughs> my brain farted then i was like did i say that right i did i did i said it right but um amazing build Thank you so much for your submission. I really, really enjoyed doing this. Really, really did. We still stuck with the two bedrooms. And I think I said in the kind of like um, sort of overview of the original build, I think I said I wanted to extend the kitchen out, but also make the living room bigger, which we did do. We played around with a bit of platforming as well. Lots of open plan moments downstairs. Upstairs, we kept it two bedrooms, made them a bit more equal sized. Got rid of the doomsday shelter but we also did go down into the basement and have an extra little office space down there as well i wasn't sure if i was going to do that so i left the doomsday bunker as it was until i made my sort of like decision a bit further on um but yes i love it it's it feels so weird to be back my friends i know it's only been like 10 days but seriously when you're recording every day nearly every day like since the beginning of the year <clears throat> it's nuts how weird it feels to just come back i used to be like that when i used to go on like a two-week holiday when i used to be a hairdresser and i used to cut hair and i'd be like oh <laughs> this feels weird i've forgotten what to do but um yes yeah, so i i remembered i i've i've remembered i remembered thank god um how to cut hair but it might take me a while to remember how to make videos again <laughs> i hope this is going to go up in time it should do it should do anyway here we are hello um ignore everything but as i always say i will leave all of my design choices in i went with a darker aesthetic in the beginning we still go with a slightly darker aesthetic with some of these windows i used the wrong window there for a start i was meant to use the uh snowy escape one and i used the eco lifestyle one um i don't know why i didn't even realize that at the minute but um, I just mixed I mixed the um, wallpapers on the outside up a bit and the windows and stuff like it was just it was just not working for me but you'll see that a bit further on you'll see it a bit further on so this is where the kitchen extension is going to the modern kitchen extension so obviously I needed to flop me a bit of skylightage in there because what is a build a modern extension build from me without a skylight in you know it would be sacrilege really really would really bloody would um, how was everybody's uh, holiday periods? I hope it was okay. I hope you had a great time. I know a few people couldn't see family members and whatnot. Luckily, um, with me and my parents who are in the same kind of support bubble um, or social bubble even, we were able to see each other at Christmas. Uh, it was nice. It was a really, really nice day. Very chilled. Very different to normal Christmases because we us usually have them with all the family. 
but obviously we can't do that this year, which was really sad. But hopefully, I'm not. I don't. I'm, I'm saying this now in January the fourth. Like I can't believe it, but I hopefully it's going to get sorted this year. <laughs> hopefully, come on. We just need some normality back in our lives. We really do. I'm fed up. I don't know about you, love. I'm fed up with it now. Plus the fact that. Uh, if we do go into another lockdown soon, I'm going to be by myself in my house for quite a bit because uh, Tom is away on a course. Um, so I'm not looking forward to that. Really not. Anyway, I'm babbling on about shit. So this is where I started putting in the basement area. I did go down into the basement. I actually changed the shape of it as well from there. I actually wrap it around the whole extension at the back. And it works out a lot better that way. You'll see that a bit further on. You'll see it a bit further on. But it's just one of those things. It's like, I don't know, when you're creating something, it evolves and changes depending on your tastes and stuff. And what you can sort of see is not working for you. That's what happened here. Like loads of little things. I was just like, no, that's not working. So we end up, yeah, shuffling it around, including this fence that I'm using now. I still keep that same shape and the same gate, but I end up going for a wall around there, a half wall, like a large one, the same sort of height as the gate. And I just think it looks better. I think it looks better and I'm very, very much for it. Really am. Um, Yeah, I've got some fun videos planned. Really, really fun videos planned. And obviously I've got a few other games that I'm going to be bringing to the channel. Probably next month I'm going to start that. I really want to do a Planet Zoo um, I've been promising you this to you guys for ages, but I always knew I just wanted a fresh year in my new kind of uh, full-time job to start on a Planet Zoo series. So that sh shall be coming soon. That shall be coming soon. I'm going to say in February, February sometime. I'm unsure as to when, but it will be coming in February. So that's going to be exciting because... I'm sorry, but the Planet Zoo build mode or any of Frontier kind of games that has the build mode. The Sims 4 build mode's good. It's good. But when you get hold of the Planet Zoo build mode, it's astonishing. <laughs> so, so I cannot, and I'm not a professional at it at all. Um, I've only got about 100 hours in Planet Zoo, but I absolutely love it. I do, and I'm going to be playing it this month um, just to boost it back up again and get my creative juices seeping out of every orifice i tell you and that's what's going to happen um anyway orifices what next penises for goodness anyway we're in the front garden look at us we're in the front garden just making it a little bit more attractive going into finer details um which is my favorite thing to do um which i'm gonna go back to planet zoo now Going into finer details with that game. Ah, oh, just being able to just morph around the everything in every direction without having to use like a tool mod, the tool mod or anything, which I, I've tried so many times to use the tool, tool mod and I just don't enjoy using it. I just, um, it's amazing, amazing creation, obviously. For me, it's just not, um, it's not something I like to use too much because I just find it really difficult, <laughs> to be honest. I do. I find it really, really difficult to use. There's people out there that can create all these amazing things of it. And I just, yeah, I can. I cannot. But um, we're in the, we're in the, we're in the front garden. Said that already, but we are. Look at us. Hedge on. We're getting our hedges on. I've wrapped this place in greenery. You can see we've changed the wallpapers now. And I actually go ahead and lighten the build on the top as well. So we use the grey brick at the bottom. But then also the lighter, brighter white kind of cement on the top. And I just like the kind of contrast between them. Plus the colorway that it came in. I just think it looks very attractive. So this was a very kind of eco-inspired house that I really wanted to make it come across. Because as I said, with even with the original build, it still reminded me of a modern house. The shape of it and stuff and the roof texture. So I went with that. And this is what we came out with. I'm testing things here with the fence and stuff. And I was just like... No, I'm not feeling that. So I said I put a tree there. Um, You'll see that a bit further on. I actually put a big tree there just to hide that bit because the extension came right out onto a wall and I just didn't like the way that looked. Sometimes I like that because you can put greenery and stuff on it. But this time I really wanted it to be open. So I used a lower half wall there so you can kind of see through. 
but then I kind of block it with a bit of greenery. So yeah, just just nice. You know, it makes the eye sight travel further and not onto a brick wall. It's already January 2021 and I'm speaking utter complete shit. But welcome back to the channel. <laughs> um but yeah, I, as I said, I loved doing this build. I really, really did. Such a cute little house. It'd be perfect for a family because you could, because I've gone into the basement, you could make that another bedroom and have a three bedroom family house. You could even make the garage into another bedroom and have a four bedroom house. So you, this is a really nice family home um, for your Sims. It really is. And this is where the little office is going to go. I end up using a big slidey door on the front. Um, I was just like, I still want a bit of privacy down here. Um, I changed the windows there for grey as well. Just less contrast on the extension. And I enjoy it. This is me figuring out, oh, actually, I'm going to wrap this all the way around now and put another window on that side. So there's even more light into that office. I think I get rid of the window that's facing the garden as well. So this office is like fully private because you can't see, see in anywhere. Um, and it looks great. It really does. Lovely. So we're getting as much greenery as possible in here. This is me figuring out, oh shit, I can't put the bloody um, uh, dog door on this their bedroom area because it's actually risen up by a platform. But I actually go inside and pull everything down um, just to be able to, so the dogs can just walk straight out into the garden. And again, very much for it. This wall that's in the hallway as well, I knock that down just to make it nice and open plan in the living and dining area and i like it. i do i really really liked how this came out i think it's going to flow very nicely uh still a couple of things that need to be player tested in the bathrooms i pushed the toilets a bit too far into the wall i think so they may not work so hopefully i get to play test it before i put it up in the gallery because that would be sacrilege and we would just wouldn't be here for it would we um, but yes, I wanted a little moment out here where the outdoor entertaining area is where you could just hear the sound of water. So I put these lovely waterfalls that came with, what was that from? City Living? Is that City Living then? I think that was City Living. Um, and I just wrap a bit of greenery around them and then size the ivy up and down going up behind it. And I really, really enjoy it. Oh my God, I'm going to sneeze. Do not sneeze in the middle of a record because I'm not cutting it out. <laughs> No, it's gone. Oh, good. I usually hate when they disappear, but that was not about to have a sneeze live on camera. Um, <laughs> it's not happening because <laughs> I have about three. Is anybody out there like that? It, it want, like Not just one sneeze, not two, it's three. And if I choke on anything. Already filth. Already filth and it's the beginning of the year. But if I ever choke on anything... <laughs> Water, perhaps a dick. I've all I always sneeze. I always sneeze afterwards. I don't know what it is. I think it may be my body's way of getting the rest of it out of my very strange. Does anybody else do that? Do you choke on a dick? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm not gonna change just because it's a new year. I'm disgusting. And that's just the way that things are gonna be. <laughs> oh, anyway, look at us, look. Little barbecue area, stunning. Um, did want a little bit of counter space, so I used those lovely grey countertops from Snowy Escape, and I just think they look gorgeous. I think they look gorgeous down here, so it is nice entertaining space. I really wanted to get, like, a, a stereo or something down here, but because it was kind of, like, in the open and stuff, if it rains, it's just going to get destroyed. I wish they had, like, an all-weathers kind of, like, um, radio, like, speaker or something, or even, like, the speakers you could just... Oh, sorry. Um... I just apologise to my mic. I'm so sorry, darling. Um, you know, like the speakers, you can just put flat into a wall. <sighs> just something like that, you know? Come on, Sims team, for goodness sake. So we end up going for like a warmer, chocolatey wood throughout the majority of the house, actually, apart from the bathrooms where I use a nice tile. Um, I think I go for the same tiles. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. I showed the tiles I use. I think they're from Get... No, I think they're from City Living. Cannot remember, but we'll, I'll show you them in a sec. <laughs> few little outdoor planters as well. Obviously, I would imagine these sims are quite into looking after the environment and whatnot. So maybe making, getting their own food and stuff would be something they're interested in. Definitely something I want to get into a bit more this year in the summer is um, learning to grow my own 
food properly. I've got the bearings of it because my mum is like green fingered. So I've kind of grew up around that. But <clears throat> I would like to learn it for myself. Main reasons being, I think it's a skill we should all be learning. Um, considering the state of the world at the minute. <laughs> so if we ever need to grow our own food, we can. Just saying, you know. Anyway, we're on the inside now. So this is the open plan living and dining area. I use It's gone for a, quite a mid-century vibe in here, which I really, really like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coughing. I've just been joking. <laughs> um... Yeah, gone for a big mid-century mid vibe in here. And I like it. I like how all of the tones come in together with this place as well. Love those sofas. I think they're stunning. Wouldn't like... Uh, no, I... No, do you know what? I probably would have those sofas in real life. But only if I could have like a nice ottoman or pouffé or pouf. You know? Just because I like to lay down on the sofa. I'm not like a city oppy person on the sofa. I like to fully lay down on the sofa. And I don't think you could do it on these because of the arms, you know? Do you think it a bit too realistically now, aren't I? But I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like them. I'd be very uncomfortable. <laughs> now, I've finally found a build that I can use the Star Wars chairs in. I love these chairs. Not keen on the, the, the legs. I would prefer different legs on them. But I really love the style of the top of them. I think they're gorgeous. Very 70s. Very 70s. Almost 60s, actually. Probably 60s, I would say. Um, and I just thought the tone matched in very well in here. So lots of ambery tones in here, loves. Um, and I'm very much for that. Very much am. Very much am, you could say. Um, what was I going to say again? <coughs> nope. Can't remember. Cannot remember. Oh, no, I did say, I've told you that. I've, I've just about to say what I was doing on Twitch tonight. And I've already told you, so I don't need to tell you what I was doing again. Anyway, look at us. In the kitchen. So the kitchen is obviously a step down from the platform above. Uh, I just love the way that that flowed through. Really like this kitchen as well. Still have to play a test a few things because I think the island that I do is a little bit too close to the oven. Um, so hopefully that the oven still works. Um that's blue so you probably can hear that but blue is snorting and sounding like a dragon um but hopefully yeah we can get it to work uh that i'd move it a bit more closer than that that's what i was afraid of that's enough space there but i don't think that what i do next is going to be enough space and the main reason i do that is because of the door behind it. it was just a little bit too close to the island so hopefully it does work because i love how this kitchen came out i was trying to bring in a bit more of the tone that we had in the living room into here and I did that by using these kind of really nice chairs. They did have a bit more of a similar colour, but I decided to just lighten it up slightly, especially down here, because this is where that modern extension is. So this is like a little sunroom area, I would say, where your Sims could come and take a seat. So you can obviously see we had 25,000 simoleon limit or budget to spend. After selling all of his hoarding objects, I think we were left with like 60,000. That's quite a substantial bit of money. And I think at the end of this all, I think I was left with about 4,000. I cannot remember for the life of me. But I really think I was left with about 4,000. Could be completely wrong. Could be completely wrong. Um, I've, I've forgot to tell you. I've spoken to a few of you guys as well. I'm getting a new audio interface. Um, I, I think this was on Twitch actually, but I'm going to say it here now. Um... It's stuck at Dover because of obviously Brexit. Things are getting stuck with the borders and um, kind of, yeah, the lorries or, you know. So that audio interface is not going to be coming for quite a while. And I'm fuming because it's got like the voice changing things on it. Um, I'm going to piss myself, aren't I? I'm going to change up Let's Build the World. It's like no other business when that comes. Enough of the echoey surround sound one. We need a... <laughs> we need a deep voice one. It's a, I just, I've got lots of ideas, loves. Lots of ideas. So up into the bedrooms. You can see what I did. Made the rooms a little bit more of a similar size to each other. One of them was just a little bit too tiny. So I shuffled it around a bit, loves. Used a lot of the furniture from Snowy Escape in this build. I just think it really, really suited the vibe of it being a very modern, eco-friendly 
house for a family and I'm very much for it. Very much for it indeed. Now looking back at this, I really wish I changed the lights because I just stuck, I just kept with the spotlights. Um, but I don't really like a lot of the lights in The Sims 4. There's some of them that are okay. Um, but I'm not really a massive fan of the lights in this world. Is anybody out there? What did, what, did I even say Sims 4 then? I think I just said Sims Is anybody else like that? Bored of the lights like these? Like mason jars? Everything's just chunky and overly like cartoonily styled. The lights from the Star Wars pack were gorgeous, but they're all fucking massive. And I know you can size them down, but it's not the case, you know? Sometimes you just want to stick a light up and be done with it. But, um... But yes, I just had to check how long we got left. We've got two minutes to say enough shit that I can possibly muster. <laughs> um, but um, again, kept all the colours neutral as well. Lots. I used a lot of the wood panelling on the walls that match in with the floors quite nicely. I wasn't picking my nose then, I promise. Um, <laughs> I was then though. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, used a lot of the wood paneling that kind of matched in with the floor nicely. Really loved them. Those wood panels were from... Oh, God, I can't remember. Eco Lifestyle. Got there in the end, darlings. As was the floor, which is probably why it matches in quite nicely. Um, but yeah, I kept them very neutral. And I was kind of furnishing them both at the same time. Just to kind of like flow it through. And then this is obviously the little office right at the end. Um, this changes around a bit slightly as well. I didn't want, like, I had all of these windows and I was putting the desk up against the wall. I was like, Ugh, you wouldn't do that. If this was me, I would have my desk facing outwards to the big double doors. So that's what I end up doing. And because they're huge slidey ones, you don't really have to worry about how close you put them to the doors either. As long as your sim can get in there. So I use that lovely desk and I do a couple of the bookcases from Get to Work. Not base game. I always thought they were base game, but it's get to work, which in my eyes is basically base game because that's how long ago it feels. Anyway, my loves, I'm going to leave you now because I have babbled on about shit. It's been so lovely to be back talking to you lot. It really is. But I will be back tomorrow with another video. So be on the lookout for it then. You're going to go off into a video tour. Goodbye. <laughs>